Ah, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of Format Podcast Live Wednesday Night Edition. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. As you can see, it's myself and uh, my main man, the Transformer. What's good, Transformer? (laughs) Yeah. What's going on, Jason? What's going on? I'm maintaining, man. Maintaining. Got some good topics for you tonight. Um, definitely, as usual on Wednesday, we're going to knock out the uh, NFL pick em. We're going to make our picks for the upcoming uh, week of NFL football. Uh, we're going to talk some Michael Parsons, who can't seem to freaking keep his mouth shut or whatever right. comes out of his mouth. He can't seem to get that right. I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, of course, as you saw from the thumbnail, we are going to talk about Bronny James, who, well, he's just not good. But we're going to add some more. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna add some more label, uh, some more uh, layers to that. Definitely have some uh, interesting comments from uh, the mayor of Wade County himself. So definitely uh, stick around and look forward to that. And then finally, we're gonna finish up with uh, Caleb Williams, number one draft pick in this this past uh, NFL draft, and the uh, and the Chicago Bears, and kind of talk about what's going on there because it's crazy. Uh, we're going to deal with the week 11 NFL pick em. We We uh, wrapped up week 10. Uh, me and Bruce actually tied last week mm. at 8 and 14. We thought we had some bad weeks. I mean, to Eight me, those 14. are bad weeks. Um, I, I normally yeah, get double digits. Bad. But um, where Oof. we uh, – how we tied is is that I didn't pick Baltimore. I picked Cincinnati. Well, it was close. Okay. Um, and I think you picked uh, Tampa Bay over San Fran. That's where we kind of neck and necked. And uh, mm-hmm. everything else, we pretty much picked the same. We got cheated by – the Giants, you know, Chicago <laughs> folded and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. um, those were the major key games that uh that made us end up with a tie. So, hopefully, we can get G in here soon, and I'm gonna let him pick up on uh you know the teams that he's gonna pick. But we're gonna mm-hmm. rock with Week 11, uh Thursday night. Uh, man, it's it's gonna be a, first of all, it's gonna be a bunch of great games this week. It's gonna be a yes. bunch of great games, a lot of yes. individual games. Uh, so you know they're going to be tough. They're going to be hard fought. But this mm-hmm. game in particular is going to be one of the games that's going to be a must-see. And Amazon Prime is going to get all their money worth on this yeah. one. Washington is going to travel to Philadelphia with our number two pick, who's balling out of control, and Philadelphia, who has a resurgence of balling out of control, and Jalen mm-hmm. Hurts over there mm-hmm. um, at a fifteen. Man, who you got in this game? Man, I got Philly in this game, man. I, I do. Um, Washington is, again, a very good football team. I'm very impressed with the way they've been able to rapidly turn that culture around, turn that team around, uh, new ownership, new coaching. I mean, basically, everything's new, top to bottom, right? New franchise, yeah. QB, all that. Fantastic. All that said, man, um, the Eagles rounding into form. They got their weapons back. Saquon is doing his thing. Yeah. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, uh, Jalen Hurts is playing well. Now he's got his primary weapons back. Um yeah, I'm a, the, the commanders haven't shown me yet that they could be a good team. They are a very good team, no question. But yep. in terms of when they have a good team opposite them, I, I'm not ready to pick them just yet. So I'm going to go with the Eagles here. And the Eagles are playing at home. So Eagles are I, playing at home. Yep, correct. Um, I'm going to go with Washington. I'm, I'm okay. going to go against the grain a little bit here okay. um, on the premise of uh, Washington just battled one of the best defenses in the NFL in the Steelers last week, right? And you were a point away. That's right? true. You felt like you were you were a, 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 a possession away of mm-hmm. beating the Pittsburgh Steelers, who has, you know, if not number one, number two, number three defenses in the NFL <laughs> with your rookie quarterback. I think you're going to Philly with that premise of like, OK, we took whatever the Steelers defense can give us. We could damn sure take whatever Philly's defense is going to give us. Right. Even That's though right. it's individual, um, I think we're probably going to see one of uh, <clears throat> I almost said Jalen's. Uh, Jaden Daniels is better mm-hmm. games um, mm-hmm. because I think at this point the F- Philly is still vulnerable in the secondary, and I think he can expose that in, in a sense. Um, I'm not sure if Brian Robinson going to be back, but they're still pretty good on the run um, with uh, Austin Eckler and the other guy. I can't remember his name off the top of my dome in the backfield. So I think that they could – I with, think uh, man, Austin Eckler this is the- – My bad guy. Uh-oh. You good? Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just opening up the page. You good. Okay. Um. And uh, last but not least, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. That kind of threw me off. My bad. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, Philly's on a five-game win streak. So right now, I feel like they can play what, like, you know, like, all right, you know what I mean? Like, we're cooking right now. We're good. We're not really worried about nothing. Our division uh, is going to end with us in Washington because, you know, Dallas is not going to do nothing. You know, uh, uh, the Giants are not going to do anything. Um, mm-hmm. So I think this is – this. they might be caught with their blouse down, right? Okay. Um, so – I'm going to go with Washington in that sense, man. 
All right, no doubt. Well, while while uh while we're getting to the next one, give a shout out to my main man Nino Action Jack. What's going on, Nino? Good to see you, yeah. man. Appreciate you. And as always, appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much for the love, brother. Appreciate that. Good to see you back. Funny, he shows up with the brawny topic, right? <laughs> we haven't seen him for a little while. He he he, see, he sees that Laker on the uh on the on the uh on, on the, the thumbnail. thumbnail and pops yeah. right back up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's All going right, man, on? Man, while we got G here, man. What's going on, G? Yo, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Doing man, good. Tame, you man, good, dummy? Man. Keep catching me off guard with that one, bro. All the time. Hey, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta get it together, stupid. You know what I mean? There it is. There it is. There it is. All right, G, we just started the pickums, man. So we're on the very first game, Commanders and Eagles, man. What you think about that? You came in right at the right time. Right time. Mm. Oh, like that. Okay. Okay. He, he said he said that with he said it like that. Right? It was yeah, like nah, no question. Mm. He said it with, yeah. with chest. Yeah. Uh -huh. All so right. it looks like I'm the only one who picked Philly on that. All right. But you know, I, I want to pick that. Philly because they're uh -huh. at home. But I, like I said, I think the premise off Washington and a loss against the Steelers, Philly mm -hmm. is going off a five-game win streak. It just yeah. feels like this is a game in Washington, like we need it more than Philly, right? Mm. Um, okay. So that's well, what I'm. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, I just I, I'm not convinced, man. They haven't beaten the good teams on their schedule yet, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I like that. All right, yeah. we're gonna move on over to Sunday, one o'clock. First game, one of the biggest rivals, if not the best rival in NFL history. Psych, because we've wow. been smashing them. Uh, <laughs> Green Bay <laughs> travels to Chicago to play Caleb Williams. Who do you got, G? Green Bay. Green Bay. He said that without hesitation too. I'm loving yeah. it, Bruce. Who you got? I got Green Bay, man. That that's easy, man. Chicago is falling apart. They they out here firing coaches. Eberflus, a dead man walking, and he's still firing assistants trying to save his job. Caleb is flopping. You got veterans on the team going to the Same. coaching staff All asking right. for him to be benched, and we'll we'll get to that later in the Caleb Williams topic, man. It's yeah, the Bears the Bears are a uh, they're in that show right now. So no, definitely, true. I mean, even if they weren't, Green Bay is the better team. So I think I think Green Bay is going to go in there and take it to them and. The other thing, real quick, and then I'll let you go, is that Caleb obviously, um, uh, Chicago's on a four game losing streak. Caleb is not playing well. Green Bay's pass defense, as we know, is super opportunistic. I think they'll probably take one or two off of him. So, yeah, they're uh, True. Chicago not winning that game. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna shock y'all with this one. I'm gonna go with Chicago to lose by 10 points. All right, uh <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay okay i like that hey man i'm okay. going to chicago lose by 10 points all right we're okay. gonna get some yeah. butt today all right yeah. Man, yeah, yeah you know we like them we like them women that like to paint their fingernails all right and you know prance all over the field like they hot stuff like that you know what i mean so i think you know we definitely gonna touch him up a little bit um he no got doubt, sacked no what, nine times last week nine so times. I'm, I'm definitely expecting to see him sack six times two picks i can uh, see it Xavier McKinney definitely finna get another pick on the I year. This will be number seven. Yeah, uh, man. No, number eight. I think it's, I think this will be number eight. Um, eight picks on the season, man. Mm. I, you know, and I think Jair Alexander is gonna be back, so we're gonna be healthy when it comes to our secondary. The order to keep yeah. him honest. Um, I think the our only concern is gonna be uh the running game. Like you know, what I mean, like we've been kind of stagnant on running games uh as of late. Uh, hence Joe Mixon and you know the Houston Texans in that game. Uh. And, you know, Detroit and their run game, the way they carved up through us. So I think that might be our only concern. But other than that, I just don't think the Chicago has enough firepower to keep up with our Green Bay offense. So I'm going to definitely yeah, go with our know. Green Bay by 10. Okay. All right. Um, Next one should be fairly easy. Bruce Jacksonville is going to travel to Detroit. Matt Jones is going to be up north for the first Detroit. time in a while. Detroit. Detroit is a finely oiled machine right now. They are whoa, playing whoa, football. Whoa. You think so? That was kind oh, of crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. No, they balling. Yes. No, I agree. But I it felt it sounded kind of strange. I, I just felt like Detroit. I just felt like uh Jared Goff threw too many picks last week. So, so what I gotta say about that is and, and you're yeah. right, G. It's like what, only thing I gotta say right? about that five, five cinco. Right. But what I gotta say is he threw five picks and they still won. So that tells you like they could win any way it is, they could win with their defense because they completely shut down the uh the the Texans in the second half of that game when the Texans were moving in the first half 
completely shut them down. They can win with their defense. They can win running it. They can win throwing it. I mean, Jared Goff, he did play terribly, so you're 100% right about that. But, nah, Detroit is – they the real deal, man. They are clearly the class of the NFC. So, yeah, I got, I got Detroit um, <laughs> Ram Rod in Jacksonville. I, I just, I don't, yeah, and Jacksonville. I think they favor about nine and a half, too, I think. Yeah, I got see. Detroit as well. Oh, they favor about 13 and a half. No, no respect for the None. Jaguars, man. <laughs> no I think, think they're going to get body. Yo, yeah. two touchdowns as – this ain't college, bro. No, nah, but I think Yo, they're gonna get body though. Vegas, like, boy, them boys about to get cooked up there in the mm-hmm. damn cold, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not even I, cold, they're playing in the dome. Oh, yeah, true. They you know, Detroit yeah. does have a dome for a field. Yeah. That's right. Oh, that's gonna be mm-hmm. ugly, but yeah, uh, I, I agree. I don't think you know we need to stress anymore uh about what's going on in Jacksonville. They're mm-hmm. about to be uh another one of the coaches that's gonna be fired this offseason, if not before. Right. Um yes. It's just a lot going bad for the Jaguars. Detroit, like you said, is a finely oiled machine. They're finding ways to win like the champs are, right? I think we had this conversation last time, Bruce. Um, you know, Detroit is just finding different ways to win, whether it's the defense, whether it's off our run game, whether it's off the pass game, whether it's off special teams. They're finding ways to get it done. And I think that that last game was just that com- confirmation. I can mm. throw five picks and we still win this football game, right? That's right. You know, we can still be, we can right. still be in it. All right, so moving on over, we're going to go with uh, Minnesota. It's going to be traveling to Tennessee. Sam Donald turned into a pumpkin yet, G? Like, who you got? Yeah. <laughs> Minnesota. Minnesota, easy day. Bruce? I'm going Tennessee here, man. I'm going Tennessee. Sam Donald is turning back into his old self. We have uh, two red zone picks the last game, um, and Tennessee has one of the best defenses in the league. I don't be- I still don't believe in Sam Darnold, even though Minnesota overall is a good team. Um, it's at Tennessee, man, and you know, defense, you can always be in a game and have an opportunity to win if you can defend the ball. And I, I don't believe in Sam Darnold. I'm gonna go Tennessee here. Plus, you can't go chalk every game, man. It's it's not gonna work, especially not in the NFL. So no, no, go- you right. You're upset. You're That's right, the game you picked for the upset. I, I, like, I, like <laughs> I might be. I might be. Yeah, yeah I, I'm going to just go with Minnesota. Um, <laughs> um, this, no, no doubt. No doubt. Will Levis hasn't really shown me anything yet to be uh, that to think true. that Brian Flores' defense is going to give up anything major to him. Minnesota has a better run game. Um, yes, Tennessee has a, a great defense, but I think Minnesota's defense is good enough to keep Will Levis at bay, but Minnesota has mm-hmm. enough weapons Justin Jefferson, Addison back there. Um, That's true. That, you know, Tennessee can get caught more than Minnesota could with Will Levis at, at the helm. So That's I'm going to go with Minnesota on that one. I'm not mad at that either. Hey, I, I I'm like not it, confident, man. but <laughs> you pick, yeah, you're picking an upset. You're never confident. Yeah. Right. You know, right, week, right. week 11, the picture gets clear, right? That's like true. week five, I can understand that pick, but week 11, like their identities <laughs> is not going to change, bro. Like that, That's true as well. <laughs> They looking for a new quarterback and a head coach. <laughs> He's calling it a sleeper, Edward. He did yawn before we got online, so he made that sleep <laughs> with that pick. But you did, know, man, sleeper nonetheless, man. I like it. 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 All right, moving on over to the next game. We have the Las Vegas Raiders traveling to Mimi, Miami, at one o'clock. I believe Bruce, you went first last time. G, who do you have in this game right here? Miami. Miami, without questions, man. I like when G just gets it out the way. Like Miami, mm-hmm. no question. All right, G. Who? You, I mean, Bruce. Who you got? I got Miami as well, man. They they look a lot better with Tua and Raiders. Just a bad football team, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, Gardner Minshew is going to have his first start, in, I think since week three or week four. Um, and he's going to have an, have another L. So yeah, Miami. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Not even going to stress that even further. Right. Yeah. Um. Moving on, Los Angeles Rams after a ugly loss against Mimi, Miami. Um, is gonna be traveling to New England with the I would say impressive Drake May, but unimpressive offensive weapons in New England. Mm. Bruce, who you got? Um, I have Los Angeles here. New England is always gonna defend, but I think Los Angeles is just a better team, but um a lot of young pieces and uh, I'm going to just go with um, Los Angeles. I think New England just doesn't have much of anything. And 
I don't think you're going to get away with sacking Matt Stafford nine times, right, to 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 win that game. So, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna go with Los Angeles here. Liking it, G. Same. All right, moving on over. Oh, I got the Rams too. My bad. I almost skipped myself. Yeah, I got the Rams. Um, I mean, it's weapons, man. I'm I'm going off talent. Rams have so much talent. You got Kyron the Siren, Go Irish back there in your backfield. You got Cooper Cup. You got Puka Nakua. You yeah. got Matt Stafford. You couldn't yeah. get it done in Miami. Now you're like, okay, all right, this is the week. We we getting it together mm-hmm. this week. So I think it's, I think this gonna gonna be one of those games. This next one, uh, Cleveland Browns are going to be traveling to New Orleans to battle. I almost said Drake May again. Uh, Derek Carr at <laughs> one o'clock. Who do you have? G. The Saints. It's ugly. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the Saints. Yeah, he wasn't confident about that one. Wait, so <laughs> right. no, I'm going to go with the Browns. Jameson Winston against his old team. Yeah. He, he, he'll probably air it out. Um, okay. But then. <laughs> Ugh, man, I don't know, bro. Like, uh, okay. this is a hard yeah. one right here. Okay, I'm yeah, unclick Cleveland. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay with Cleveland. I'm gonna stay with Cleveland. Even though they got rid of, like, they starting to get rid of everyone. I'm, I'm still stay with Cleveland. Okay. Yeah, Bruce. Four, 14, 13, oh. Cleveland. Mm. Ugly low score game. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, man. Bruce. I'm going to go Cleveland as well here. Not confidently as well, but I'm going to go Cleveland. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I picked Cleveland. And I don't know why I picked Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's just one I'm of those. At, I'm looking at my picks before I got on the show, and I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. Brian, what made you pick Cleveland? Mm-hmm. You did this before. They they effed you over last time. Right. Mm-hmm. But I, you feel like this time they're not going to F you over. Right. Because you're playing against the Saints. Can't, Saints are just not good, right? But you got Derek Carr, you got Alvin Kamara. But their defense, they gave up pieces on the defense that I think Jameis Winston can expose. And I think Cleveland's defense is good enough to keep Derek yeah. Carr at bay. Um, Nick Chubb is having a resurgence. He's coming back in the – he's uh, running back in the shape. Um, so I think they're going to be able to get the run game going. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I'm just like y'all. I'm just going to unconfidently go with Cleveland, right? All right, so let's go with uh, – I'm going to skip over this one. I'm going to skip over that one. I'm pretty sure you all know what game that is. We're going to yep. go to Indianapolis traveling to the Jets. G, you went last time. Bruce, who you got in this one? I got the Jets here, man. I got the Jets. Anthony Richardson is going to be starting again. Yep. <laughs> um, don't That's know why. To, That's all you but, need to um, hear. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm going to go with the Jets here. Even though they're not playing their best ball, Aaron Rodgers not playing his best ball. The defense is like 23rd in points allowed and 24th against the run, somewhere right in there. Um, so all of the things that were supposed to put Aaron Rodgers into a position to just step in and, uh, you know, make the throws are not there. But yet, I unfortunately, man, I don't – I just don't see the Colts having much. And then, again – I, I got nothing for Anthony Richardson. I don't believe in that dude, not in the least. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go to Jets here. <laughs> Christopher's wild. <laughs> G, who you got, brother? The Jets. Easy day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of my heart and soul wants to say Indianapolis. But yep. as soon as I saw that Anthony Richardson was starting, I said, nah, Jets. All right. yeah. You guys know how I feel about Anthony Richardson. I just don't feel like he's a ready enough quarterback. Um, nope. I feel like he he just definitely needs more time to ride the pond a little bit mm-hmm. and observe, learn, uh, and grow on the bench. And the Jets just, I mean, it's just, in, if I could find another word for disappointing, I would say it, but I can't think of nothing. Um, but they're just overly disappointing um, with the, with the uh, obtaining of Devontae Adams, you haven't really done much with it. You've only had one game yeah. where y'all showed out. That's right. And that was the second half of against the previous game. <laughs> last game, you guys couldn't get it together. It was a uh, last game was about as awful as you can get. So I think. Oh, I need to slow down, Bruce. Okay. Last game was <laughs> as bad as it gets. The Jets. <laughs> are awful and slow on offense defense got 
exposed. However, Anthony Richardson, Bruce the second, short but short, is exposable. <laughs> All right, he's gonna get smoked out there. You got me, Bruce the second. So he I tap got the quarter. Jets. Oh, he might tap. <laughs> he might tap. All right. Uh, moving on to the next game. It's going to be a doozy. Atlanta is going to be traveling to Denver. Mm. Who do you have, G? Atlanta going to Denver. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Atlanta. 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 I like Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. I like Atlanta. Okay. I like that. G, I'm a, uh, not G, Bruce. I'm going to pick Denver for you. All right. How do you know I was going to pick Denver? How do you know like that? Because you screwed it over last week. How do you know that? I am picking Denver. <laughs> Who you picked last week? I, I picked pick Atlanta to win the damn game last week against uh, the Saints. Uh, Thank you, Trey. He messed, he messed up the entire feng shui that we had going Man, on. And listen. And I'm like, come on, me. bro. Exactly, Chris. <laughs> the Denver's defense is crazy. Absolutely. It is and you crazy. Know, you know what, Transformer? What's up? Audrey Gestime got the starting running back job for the rest of the year in Denver. Go Irish. Go Irish, man. <laughs> Good job. There you go. That's there another go. reason for me to pick Atlanta. All right? <laughs> because I don't need Irish getting any more, <laughs> any more love. But they're getting uh, down, I'm not bro. Mad I don't need them getting no more love, right? I need Atlanta to win this game desperately. All right. I've been riding, <laughs> I've been riding for Atlanta, man. Uh listen, they've been doing well so far all season, man. You proved me wrong because I thought it was gonna be Tampa Bay. And you said it from the beginning. So true. I mean, yeah. But I just can't have you when you pick them, it just feels mm -hmm. like it's just off. It's bad, right? It's off. Right. It's like dang Atlanta, like man, oh, I find the, I find now Bruce with us. Okay, you know. <laughs> And then look what happened. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go with Atlanta, man. Um why Denver's defense is great. It the is. defense is great. Atlanta, I feel like they need to step it up a little bit. I want them to step it up. I need them to step it up. Um, they better step it up. Because <laughs> I'm picking them this week and Bruce oh, is Michael picking Penix them. Jr. Uh wait, why you say that? Her cousin ain't hurt. I know. I'm just saying. Oh, That's okay. You're up. just saying if he if he doesn't. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna just pick Atlanta because I've been bullish on Atlanta all year. Um, a part of me wants to pick Denver because of the defense. Um, but I'm I'm gonna just roll with Atlanta on this one, man. I'm gonna just roll with Atlanta. Yeah, um, Bull Knicks, Bull Knicks missed a lot of throws that last game. And yeah, that that was, probably was pivotal to them at least. Um, I think being more competitive. Right? Yeah. He kind of yeah, like. Yeah. It was. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> I said, hold up. Don't skip over anything. That sucks. I just want to tell about journalism. <laughs> Good thing about it, bro. I'm not a journalist. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could take that one, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm not a journalist. Yeah. All right. But there's a reason why. I skipped over it, and you will find out in just uh, about three minutes because it's going to take another 30 minutes for us to finish mm -hmm. that one. All right, so oh. <laughs> another big divisional game. Um, like I said, all these teams <laughs> right now are uh... – <laughs> Oh, See, they boy. get it. They get it, Bruce, a second. They get it. They get it. They get it. All right, uh, Seattle's going to be traveling to San Fran, another great divisional game. Bruce, uh, G, I believe you went last time first. Bruce, who you got, brother? Um, I, I got San Francisco, man. They uh, uh, squeaked out the win uh, at Tampa Bay. Like, it wasn't impressive, but I, I kind of always look at it like if a team can win those type of difficult games, it, it says something about them. Seattle's a good good team and his division rivalry, man, but C-Mac is back now, um, so not sure, um, you know, how – what what type of shape he's in, but obviously he's back. And uh uh Kittle and Debo and I Purdy's still playing well, man. I, I'm gonna just go with San Francisco here. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna I like it. G. <clears throat> San Francisco and who I'm sorry. I'm... Uh San Francisco, uh Seattle's traveling to San Fran. Mm. 
Tough, right? Seattle. Seattle. <coughs> Ooh, I like that. Like that pick. Oh, Seattle. Like that, that was pick. tough. Mm. Like it. Um San Fran, I believe, won the previous game in Seattle. Last mm. time I checked, if I can't remember correctly. Um I think they'll win it again at home. I think mm. with them having um Christian McCaffrey back in the saddle. That offense mm-hmm. is going to look start looking a little bit more crisp. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know what you have in Jordan Mason. So you know you have multiple weapons in the backfield. You got a healthier Debo Samuel. You got Jawan Jennings. You mm-hmm. got George Kittle. Mm-hmm. I just think they have enough to run away with this one from Seattle. Granted, it's a divisional yeah. game. Yeah. Um, but I, I think San Fran definitely has the tools necessary to beat them. Right, I agree. Um, at home, at that, at four o'clock, <coughs> in that heat, because mm-hmm. it's, 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 you know, what I'm saying it's, it's, in, it's in San Fran. All right, uh-huh. next one. Kansas City is going to be traveling to Ooh. Buffalo, in which Buffalo is favored by two points. Mm-hmm. Gee, you went first. No, no, Buffalo. Uh, you went first last Buffalo. time. Buffalo. Okay. Buffalo. All right. Easy day. They don't get no. Is there a reason why you would pick <laughs> Buffalo there, buddy? <laughs> you know what, man? I, I, I hate to see these guys win out, right? When I, I know, know that's what it is. Get the goddamn <laughs> second. Then they get to the the, uh, the the first round or the second round and get they and get their ass whipped. Yeah, because, you know the season games are different than the of course, according to everyone. Not not likely, but um, I just think they they you know. They're gonna take a L. Um, hey, you think this no is the reason get? towards? Yeah, I just think it's is their time. Um, I think that uh, the the quarterback is on the same level as Mahomes when it comes to being able to make those plays in the clutch, um, make those passes in the clutch. And uh, even though that defense is really really good of at um, taking your dominant hand and, and and kind of pinning you to the pinning it to your side and making you win with you know. Your offhand or whatever your your weak your weaknesses or your not so strong um, strengths, right? They, they defenses yeah. are, are really really good. I just think it's that time though. You know, they didn't they didn't squeak the way and got as many lucky wins as they can get. Um, I think it's that time. You know, they just you know it's just ugly win after ugly win after ugly win. It, it can only take you so far. Um, Okay. That's it. All right, G. Do you got it, Bruce? I got Buffalo here. Um, I do believe Kansas City's still the best team in football. And they can beat you with offense. They can beat you with defense. We saw them last game beat you with special teams. Like when you see a team that can beat you any possible way you can conceive of, that tells you how good they are. However, to G's point, eventually those those type of games catch up with you and when you play another team that's very good they can beat you and and not in the playoffs yet but in the regular season we have seen uh well, what's my man's name josh allen beat pat mahomes and mm-hmm. we've seen him even in the playoffs obviously go toe-to-toe and throw for throw with him and so if there's anybody you know not not counting lamar but if there's anybody that can go toe-to-toe and throw for throw with uh, Patrick Mahomes, it's going to be Josh Allen. And so I'm just, I'm going to go here with the, uh, I'm going to go with, with the bills because also, man, it's so hard to just keep winning in, in the NFL, man. It's so hard. Mm-hmm. So at some point, at some point they got to lose. I don't think they're going to get destroyed, but at some point the streak gets snapped and then they kind of get back into the flow of doing what they got to do to win. So I'm going to go with the bills here, man. Okay. It's not like the Bills are a bad team. That's a very good yeah. football team. Yeah. Um I'm I'm gonna keep with I'm gonna stay with the champs. Why? Uh, uh one my oh, nose not playing. My bad. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh one my nose not playing. Keon Coleman's not gonna play. Um Amari Cooper is still likely yep. to not play. Yeah. So Josh Allen has zero weapons he's throwing the ball to, right? Mm-hmm. You're gonna try to run the football. Yeah, that's okay, mm-hmm. right? But if we can make if Kansas, if any team can make you one dimensional, it's Kansas City. Mm-hmm. They they can make you run the ball all day if they want to, right? Yeah. Um, and that's not going to be good for um your your defense as Kansas City goes on their scores real quick. Now you're back out there 
trying to chime away and grind out to get a field goal kick. Um, I don't think Buffalo has enough to win this football game. They're mm-hmm. one and three against winning teams. I mean, one and two against winning teams, right? Mm-hmm. So, stat. so I mean, when it when the, when it matters the most, right? Mm-hmm. You got cooked by uh, by the Ravens, cooked mm-hmm. like deep fried. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, score yeah. was what forty one ten, right? It was bad. Yeah. So it, it was bad. It was a bad football game for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you had to play the Texans, you lost against the Texans. Texans are a great team at the time. They had uh, uh, Stefan Diggs and those guys were clicking on mm-hmm. all cylinders at that point when they were, uh, I think, five and one at the time or something like that. So th- those teams you failed against, but you beat the Jets, you can beat the Titans, you can beat the Dolphins, you can beat the Colts, you can beat the mm-hmm. Jags, right? You can beat those teams, right? When it matters the most, when you need to beat the real team, where are you? So I don't think this is a game that they're going to show us where they are because they're mm-hmm. down two of their offensive weapons on the receiving core. So I definitely yeah, got funny. Kansas City winning this game. I'm surprised. I'm still trying to figure out how they're uh, favored by two, but you know that's 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 not me. I'm not Vegas. I think doesn't doesn't the home doesn't the home game usually isn't that normally three points being at home? Yeah, but when you down both weapons on your offensive side, I, no, I'm I'm just saying normally yeah. uh, being at home give you three. So you I got know. you. I got you. Yeah. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go with Kansas City on this one. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so Tony so can go up there and win. He didn't in the playoffs last year. Uh, real quick, let me comment on this. Uh, this in the chat. Um, what's up, gentlemen? Since the national media wanted to question a Hall of Fame player, Hall of Fame status, and Russell in one bad season, they should be doing that for Aaron to be fair. Also, Trevor is once 2.0 bust. All right, let me let me uh push back on that a little bit. The reason that people questioned uh Russell Wilson is not because of one bad season, the reason people question Russell Wilson is because. Obviously, he won the Super Bowl early in his career. He went back to the Super Bowl and literally threw it away. All right, cool. So he's been to two Super Bowls. He's won one. Uh, Right. A a, a lot of guys haven't done that. Uh, Guys who are arguably greater than him at the position haven't done that. Cool. But the problem is when you look at it, Russell Wilson took great advantage of one of the all-time best defenses in history. And then you combine that along with a great running game with beast mode, right? So once those guys were all gone, yeah, he still got to the playoffs, but those Super Bowl runs and all that weren't there. So I think what people want to see is, OK, can you can you do it again and can you do it somewhere else? Right. Tom Brady kind of spoiled people on that, but he goes to Denver. And then also you're hearing all this stuff from, you know, former teammates and all that about Russell Wilson is kind of wild and he's not a very like guy. Nobody's saying he can't play, but that definitive Hall of Fame and all that. I think he's a nine time pro bowler. So that's big also. But he's never been all pro. He's never gotten even one MVP vote in his entire career. Like these things stand out. So I think that's why people were questioning Russell Wilson after last year. Um, uh, to say they should be doing that to Aaron, to it's be blasphemy. fair. Yes, Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> he's got all the numbers. And I'm no Aaron Rodgers fan, but he's got all the numbers. And the guy's a four time MVP, multiple time first team all pro quarterback, obviously multiple time pro bowler. Like he's got more than Russell Wilson has. So that that's a that's a terrible comparison. Uh, Trevor Wentz is Trevor is Wentz 2.0 or bust. Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> uh, hope that answers your, like uh, your your comment, Eagles brother 92. Thanks for being here. Um, real quick, if anybody's here and you haven't already, please go ahead hit that like and subscribe, like and subscribe on YouTube. Appreciate you. All right, gentlemen, let's carry on. Yep. All right, we got that out the way because I'm like not having Aaron Rodgers in the Hall of Fame. It's just I, I yeah, think I he's talking about a different Aaron. I'm like, man, is yes, there Willie a quarterback Russell named Aaron out there. Russell Wilson is definitely a possible Hall of Famer, Willie Brown. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, he's he's definitely going to be possibly in yeah. there. Um, I think he's just not like definitive, but yeah, yeah I mean, he's got a very good chance. I, I, like first ballot, maybe not. He probably won't, but like nah. that second, third, third go round, he may get in there. You know, he has a Super Bowl, and like Bruce said, he went to a second one. He literally threw the second one away and gave it to Tom. Mm-hmm. But, um, mm-hmm. but he's been there, right? I and mean, typically, you know, Super Bowl quarterbacks. With good enough numbers like Russell Wilson, they typically get in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Bruce, we'll do that. Um, the fight is Saturday night, right? Yep. What time does anybody? What, what time is that Ooh, fight? We gotta look on Netflix. It's on. It's gonna be right. on Netflix. Yeah. If it's if it's one of those late night Bruce fights, two point oh. Let us know what show. time it is. He's yeah, we can probably. Right? Yeah. Well. Yeah. He he was the one who brought it up, Bruce. We gotta discuss this Tyson fight at some point this week. So yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, he um, we we probably can discuss it on the show on on Saturday. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll make sure we do that, Bruce. Thank you for the reminder, man. No, uh, absolutely. All right. 
All right, so uh, one more get. Ooh, two more games. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Cincinnati is going to be traveling to Los Angeles to play the Chargers. G, who do you have mm. in this one? <sighs> wow. The only only thing that's difficult about this pick is I have to pick. I have to root for Joe Burrow and the Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> right, because they, like nobody seems to be able to stop Jamal Chase and mm-hmm. Burrow. That connection nobody. is crazy. That's mm-hmm. that's sick. And so, um, yeah, I gotta go with Cincinnati on this one, just because um, all biases aside. Man. Yeah, Cincinnati. I'm proud of you, brother. You go yeah. ahead. But- it's a work in progress, bro. <laughs> it's a work in progress. <laughs> oh man! All right, uh, Bruce, who you got, bro? So this is this is a tough one for me, man. This is a Styles make fights type of thing, right? Um, yeah. Obviously, you got the the high flying, high octane, uh, you know, bombs away offense of uh, Joe Burrow and Cincinnati, and then you got the grinded out physical um, uh, run first mentality of uh Jim Harbaugh and, and and Greg Roman and um and play physical defense so I am going to go with the Chargers here and that's simply because of what I believe to be the most successful way of playing football and that's run the football and stop the run and the difference is you got a guy in Herbert who's not putting up big numbers but he can at any given time he's capable of it even though he's not doing it because of the style of offense that they're playing This guy's thrown one pick all year. I mean, not that Burrow is lighting it up with picks. He only has four, right? Burrow is really going crazy. It's just a shame that the team is bad, that the defense can't hold it down for him. But he's having a crazy year this year. But, yeah, I'm going to go with the Chargers here, man. Um, I I believe in Jim Harbaugh, man. That guy just knows how to coach football, and he does it the old way, and it works. Sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) I mean – He's had success everywhere he's been. So I'll just. Yeah, that's yeah, Super Bowl, national champions. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got it. You got a point. <clears throat> um, With that point, I'm going to take Cincinnati. Why? Because they're <laughs> extremely freaking desperate. <laughs> that's a big, that's a big, yeah. Desperation is big. Hey, yeah. you're extremely freaking desperate. You just came off of a. Uh, what could have been a win against the Ravens, uh, your divisional right. rival, uh, not only just divisional rival, quarterback rival, um, in which a game where you felt like you could have had, uh, like I like said, there was a two point conversion away from um, winning the football game. Granted, there were a couple of calls that were missed, but you still have to make the play after the call. There's no guarantee that you're going to make the play anyway. Baltimore could have stood up on defense anyway, but you were not for afforded that opportunity, the second opportunity to go for two. Um, yeah, but that being have said, in the first place, yeah, I know Ravens defense is trash, but um, to that point, you're four and six, you cannot afford to go four and seven, uh, you cannot afford it. But uh, you might, like, what? You might not have a team in the league that's like under four wins. <laughs> Like 10, 10, 10, I think it's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You, you close. Yeah. It's 11. One, two, three, oh, four, shit. Five, six. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> it's 11. Yeah, it's 11. 11 teams on the four wins. Yeah, um, one, two, three, four, five, six teams with four wins. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> you can't afford to go four and seven. Um, and I say that because uh, the Denver Broncos, yes, they're five and five. But mm-hmm. if they can get a dub here, they go six and five. You go mm-hmm. four and seven. That doesn't push anything in your favor to try right. to go and get that seven seed. You I don't need I don't think they're gonna get it, man. Huh? I don't think they're gonna get it at all. Six I mean, I nine. think this is gonna be the de- determining game, right? Like this could be the where you win this football game. Now you can you can build a little bit more steam because you guys mm-hmm. got what seven games to go, right? Mm-hmm. If you could win another five out of your next seven or six of the next seven, you can slide mm. right into that seven spot. So I think this is going to be one of those football games where you're like, look, we need to win, and we need to win last week. And uh, yeah, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like they can make the Chargers, you know I mean, fold into that pressure uh, and beating them. So I'm, I'm going to go with Cincinnati on that one. Yeah. All right. All right. 
Um, I went ahead and I checked the last one for us. We don't even need to talk about the Monday night game, honestly. The game <laughs> needs to be flexed. Uh, right, yeah. Guys, cool. uh, put a chat so everybody knows. We're not going to talk about Monday night. It's Houston versus Dallas. I know all three of us going to pick Houston. There's no Correct. rule or rhyme to reason on why. We just know that Houston's just going to win this really football bad. game. <laughs> like, no, yeah. Dallas is really, really bad. We don't need to explain. Let's get to the main topic of week 11. I know my head is still spinning. I know G has his answer. I know Bruce is like, God dang it, this is a pick. Yeah, but there's I, one team that's gonna play at one o'clock. One team decides <clears> to wear <throat> purple and black to their football games because that's their colors. The other team decides to wear black and yellow because that's their colors. But both got black, black and a black, black and a berry, the sweet of the juice. This juggernaut of a team and the Baltimore Ravens on offense, because we know they're poor defensively, is gonna mm-hmm. go play one of the better defenses in the league. What the I would say decent enough offense, good enough offense to get it done. But this is a divisional rival game, mm-hmm. a clash of the Titans, and I would say to get to the AFC Championship mm-hmm. or yet Super Bowl, Baltimore Ravens are going to be traveling to Pittsburgh to battle Sierra's mm-hmm. husband. I ain't, We ain't going to call him that no more. All right, he's been playing good. All right, I've been liking Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson has been playing good. So Russell Wilson and Pittsburgh Steelers. At one o'clock, chat light it up. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead and let these boys duke it out. I don't have no dog in this fight. G, I just wanted to let you know I love you, and I already <laughs> checked Baltimore for you, so I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Oh, uh, do I, I go checked. first or do or, or do Bruce go first? Go, go I, first, G, because I, 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 I checked it for you, bro. Baltimore <laughs> is checked. All right. Matter of fact, yeah, I uh, double I double clicked it just to make sure yeah. I knew it was checked. All yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah. Bruce, I mean uh, Bruce yeah. sat on the sideline for a minute. G, right. please, without further yeah. ado, let us know how the Baltimore Ravens are gonna win this football game. Please, yeah. Uh, tell me. <laughs> it's it's kind of tough, man. You know, like, but yeah. like like anybody who has been watching the Ravens Steelers games for the last decade or two, you know, that shit, the mm-hmm. paperwork. Don't always align up to W's and L's, man. Like mm-hmm. this is a slug. This is a one of those 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 games where you just hope and pray that like you don't lose your best player in this dog fight right here. I was watching something that said that like this game should not be televised. They should play this game in an alley. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> on the side of the road. True. This is like one of those, like <laughs> yeah, like this is one of those <laughs> games where it's like. Battle of the Titans type game, and um, mm-hmm. Ravens had 10, 10 days to prepare for the for the Steelers. That's um, a great that defense. That, that that secondary is man, our coverage is crazy, man. Like I don't know. After Jamal Chase came and defried oh. a freaking oh. safety corner, oh. and no, he came you know, and and it's like, that joint. Yeah, man. Oh my it was goodness, crazy. man! Like, Baby oil was like, everywhere. Like, Yo, you know, with a with a Mike Tomlin, and, <laughs> and after he probably. I'm sure he watched the tape and he was like, damn, we, I mean, this is just simple go routes that he cooking them. Man. And like, man. Man, put, uh, the dude Pickens in the same slot, he probably going to run the same fucking plays because clearly they don't know how to, how to, com- they don't know how to defend over the top, underneath, um, <laughs> stop routes, down and outs. Like they, they just, I mean, that secondary is real horrible, man. But yeah. um, I think on offense is, is a pretty balanced team with the exception of, um, you never know what Mr. Mr. Lamar is going to be able to do and how he'll dice up the defense. So he can possibly make the Steelers' defense, as good as they are, look just yes. like the Ravens' defense. That's right. As bad as That's right. they are. So it's like, you know, it, it's going to be one of those games. This is the um, our midseason Super Bowl, I should say. Right? Yeah. Like, um, yeah. every Sunday, man, like, you even wake up on Mondays and you crying, like, damn, the loss <laughs> of the fucking Steelers. My group yeah. chat going crazy. Um mm-hmm. Or you, um, or you like you happy, your chest out, chin up, chest out. You like talking shit. You sling, <laughs> sl- slinging memes to all your Steelers fans. I think this is going right, to be a right. good one. Man. I think this is going to be yeah. a really good one. Um, if not, then you know I'm gonna call out on Monday. 
Um, but yeah, absolutely got uh the Ravens, Ravens by ten. Whoa. Damn. Okay. I'm gonna put that on here because I, I need like it they have to win by 10 in order for your pick to be right. If not, wow. it's just gonna be blank. So win is a win. So as long as <laughs> long as the chin up chest out come Monday, you know what I'm saying? I can't call out, I gotta go to work. So it's like you know what I mean? I ain't got no choice, bro. You know, right. I'll just be walking around looking like somebody pissed in my Cheerios or kick my dog or something, man. I don't know. Oh man. Okay. Bruce, who okay, you got, so brother? <clears throat> okay, Transformer. I am gonna I'm gonna cut to the chase and I'm gonna say the Ravens not close. Jamar chase. No, not Jamar Chase. We don't need okay. to see him again for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna declare about for the chat. I know they're watching. No, no, no. I'm gonna say Baltimore close here. Um to G's point, man. The, the way Russell Wilson has been throwing the deep ball and our inability to guard against it is going to cause problems. Um Man, but we we should be able to completely shut down whatever they try to do on the ground. Still have the best run defense in in the league, um, so we can we can make them one dimensional. But the problem is that dimension that they have is we're we're the worst at defending that. I think we're thirty second in pass defense. So um, to G's point, they can get over the top, but they don't have thunder and lightning like we have. And so here's the thing: when you look at the Baltimore offense. Even if you can, I'm not going to say shut down, but if you can control Derrick Henry in the run game, if you can control the running game, Lamar has now shown that he's on another level throwing the football. And like G said, I think the word he used was dice. He can slice and dice you from the pocket. So that's, that is legitimate. Um, uh, we know Tomlin, he's going to come with, with a scheme defensively, but I think like, uh, Lamar, he's just he's he's on that upper level, man. He's on that top tier with the way he's playing the quarterback position now. Um, uh, he is he's like mastered studying film. I think it was what is it uh, two weeks ago, G, when he wasn't practicing much, or a uh, week before Cincinnati, he wasn't practicing much with the the slight injury, and he's like all he was doing was in there was like just dissecting the film. So uh, you know he's doing plenty of that. Um, obviously, we know that he can throw it. He has the wheels. He can get out. Uh, Zay Flowers is a real X Factor guy. Uh, you got uh, Mark Andrews is has come back to himself. Um, you got what's my man's name that came from Carolina? The uh, the new wide receiver used to play for Pittsburgh. Um, Deion Johnson. Yep. Deion Johnson. Deion Deion Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. So now now you've got another weapon on the outside. Um, yeah, absolutely, Bruce. You're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right. You Got to have somebody back there to, to chip to chip T.J. Watt on every passing down because, and you know, you have to know where he is, right? Because he's going to line up all over the tree, all over the place. Excuse me, trying to bring the pressure. Um, yeah, this man, like like we always say, this is a chin strap game. This is um, <laughs> this is the kind of game that the NFL almost doesn't want because it's so physical, and they try to take the physicality out of the game now. But I am gonna go with the Ravens winning close. I don't, I don't think that they um, smash them. They are going to win close, but they're gonna pull out a tough win in Pittsburgh. Uh, I just think they're on a mission, and the way Lamar Jackson is playing, man, it's like lights out. So I'm, I'm gonna go with the Ravens here. It wasn't easy, but I'm gonna go with the Ravens. Yeah, I, I've never seen a, the our secondary like be this bad this late in yeah. the season. Yeah. So normally they kind of like would have got that shit together, but mm -hmm. um, I you know I, I don't know. It's well, the only thing um we heard talent. Belichick say say again, it's talent. Well, so how I look at that, G though, is that they have the pretty much the same defensive personnel they had last year when the defense was historically great. So it's it's about the right calls at the right time and just executing right. Um. Uh, like we heard Belichick say on the clip last week or whatever week that was, uh, Dean Pease is a pass defense specialist and they've got him in there, um, you know, being an advisor to, to, um, or Zach or so, uh, hopefully that helps out and he has helped him to come up with something that can control that back end. So, um, yeah, but at the end, I'm, I'm still going to go, I am, I'm going to go Ravens here. Um, but close. So, yeah. So you got, Baltimore. 
Yes, yes, I do. Right. All right. The answer I'm about to give is not going to be the answer none of you guys in the chat want. Um, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. Mm. I got Steve Baltimore Pittsburgh. beating you know Pittsburgh <laughs> in week 15. Okay. This is probably not going to be the week. Um, right now, Vegas, Vegas has the Ravens favored by three. Mm. Pittsburgh is at home. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh is 7-1. and one against the Ravens in the last eight football games. Since 2020, the Ravens have only beaten Mike Tomlin once. Really? Yep, looked it up, right? Since 2020. Wow. The Ravens have only won one time against the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's crazy. Mike Tomlin. Huh. This is probably going to be one of those defining – Not. I'm not going to say defining because Mike Tomlin's going to be a Hall of Fame coach. And he's a champion already. So. And he's a champion already. But this <laughs> right. is going to be one of those games where – John Harbaugh is going to get out coached. Mm. I think this is going to be that situation to where they're going to take the strength away from the Ravens okay, and just exploit everything the Ravens have as a weakness on the defensive side of the football okay. with the resurgence of what Russell Wilson's doing for that pass game. Mm -hmm. um, what, how, you know, George Pickens can go fly. Mike Williams can also <clears> go and fly. He can mm -hmm. run goes, and that's what you guys are, mm -hmm. are lacking at at this current moment. I think the Ravens are going to do a great job against the run game. Still just haven't been awesome at running the football, but I think they're just going to run the football enough to just keep you guys at bay. You got to do something about T.J. Watt. T.J. Watt is going to be the hugest X factor on that defensive line when it comes to containing and yet getting after Lamar Jackson. Um, and I think with Mike Tomlin, he can scheme up the secondary good enough to just follow wherever Raven, wherever Lamar's going. Don't chase him. Just follow the receivers, whichever way they're going, and play your scheme that way. I think Mike Tomlin can get that done. Um, so, in that said, I'm, I'm going to go with the Steelers with it. Okay. Um, I think the Ravens will beat the Steelers, just not this week in week 15 when they have that Baltimore crowd behind them. Um, I don't see him at this current moment with – as we as we spoke about last last time, you guys got coaching issues. You guys said it. G said it. You got coaching issues, right? Coach don't know what they want to do on defense. You don't trust John on offense. You know him calling the plays, making the decisions. G just came out of your mouth, right? You don't trust your coaching, but <laughs> Pittsburgh has always trusted Mike Tomlin, right? I think that that goes good for uh, what you have. Be worried about Todd Monkey. Hmm? Definitely worried about Todd Monklin. Definitely worried about Todd Monklin, right? You're definitely worried about Todd Monklin. Monklin. And um, just take away from my other point, man. You start laughing at me off. <laughs> but um, like I was saying, you know, Mike Tomlin man, just I'm has not it. letting you bait me into that bullshit, man. I'm telling you I'm not, bro. It's not Who happening me? tonight. Yeah, it's I'm not happening tonight, bro. I'm not happening. doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing, bro. I'm just saying. You said it, yeah. not me, right? We got away from the commanders, <laughs> bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, but you like that commanders team? That's a good football yeah. team. You like that commanders team, right? Yeah, I hope he don't have his sophomore slump. But I think I think the NFC East is still up up for grabs, man. Like, um, just with so many teams, I mean, with the exception of Philly, Philly been really rocking rocking out. We knew they was gonna do that. Yeah. They always mm -hmm. get hot late when in the season. With the rest of that, the, the rest of that divisions. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, oh, man, oh, I like your pick. Good. I like your pick, bro. Because come uh, uh, Sunday, Sunday morning. It's going to, you know, Sunday, yeah, well, 11.30, Sunday evening. It's going, <laughs> right. to bring, it's going to be a lot of excitement. Everybody's going to be there. I'm going to be trash. So you Good might have to be <laughs> sense of the sense of the flower will bring <laughs> it. <laughs> it's a Super Bowl, bro. I'm going to be like, trash. Oh, <laughs> Don't let her I'm win. I'm going to be man. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have it on my secondary TV because obviously Green Bay is going to be playing. You know, I'm going to ride with the home team mm, every time. Okay. But, um, okay. but uh, I, that, I'm definitely going to be heavily tuned in. To that to that game right there, man. I think it's going to come down to the wire. It's definitely going to be whoever has the balls la ball last wins the football game. Mm. No, man, I really that's going to be the, the drive the that finds it. 
the refs don't like take away from that tradition of like just smash mouth football, man. Yeah, I know they, I know they have to, right? At, at some, yeah. to some extent, but like they can really fuck a game up, bro. Like, yeah, this, yeah. this a man. Also, sport, the man. Ravens have been. Uh, now I don't mean to cut you off, G. They've gotten hella penalties. They're very undisciplined this year. I was yes. They're very yes. undisciplined. This I year. believe they're the most penalized team in the league. They're super yeah. undisciplined. What y'all talking about man? Like the refs been yeah. throwing a lot more flags this year across the entire board than ever. I'm like, saying you guys are like top three. Yeah, that's like, true. They're breaking records with as many the flags <laughs> that they throw in this year. So it's like it's I don't know, bottom, like, though, man. So yeah, the past the, the you know man uh, the offensive hole and we knew we were gonna see that, um, but some of this stuff is like wow okay, this is this is crazy but I think yeah, Bruce is trying I, to do the same thing. I <laughs> right. Y'all googling it? Y'all googling yeah, the flag? Yeah, yeah. Baltimore's yeah, yeah. number one with eighty. Yeah, we always been number number one, bro. Like oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Jets at seventy five, mm-hmm. Seattle at seventy four. Yeah. Baltimore got the most with eight. One, right? To be yeah. number one and still have a winning record is crazy. Um, Absolutely. So yeah. many teams who are doing so bad, you would think that would be, you know, that would be something that would be holding the team back from winning. But some of these teams, is just they just suck. And it don't it have nothing to do with the flags. It's just mm-hmm. the yeah. ability to produce points and, and, and close out games. So, Yeah. I mean, I think it just shows you the the mm-hmm. Superman level that Lamar is playing at, honestly. So, I mean, yeah. we got. But but no, to, to to Transformers point, uh, Tomlin is a much better uh, coach than John John Harbaugh, absolutely without question. Um, yeah, he, he is. I don't I don't think we give John Harbaugh enough credit, but yeah, Tomlin is better than him. Yeah, the the yeah yeah. Um, I can, yeah, I, I think if we see a, a the third string tight end in the game on the center, then I, I, we in bad shape, bro. <laughs> Wait, and then the wildcat, then the wildcat with the third string tight end on the center, bro. We in bad shape, bro. Like, oh yeah, didn't you know QA on this goddamn <laughs> this, they call him is going on. So, so yeah, listen, I don't know what play that was. Who who thought of that play? But that shit should never be. Like ever be executed and or allowed to, you know, if I'm if I'm Lamar and I see that shit, I'm calling timeout, I'm cooking one, or I'm gonna audible that shit from the wide receiver <laughs> from the wide receiver position because that's where they put him at. Anyway, I digress. I know y'all got shit to do. We got a lot of other topics on this this list. Oh no, absolutely. Crazy. You guys gonna get crazy, but that was the <laughs> weekly pick 'em. I'm gonna save it oh, for right, everybody. Um, yes. guys, light up the chat. Let us know what you guys think is going to be the upset, um, for the week. Um, definitely who you got in this Baltimore Steelers, uh, game that's going to be coming up. I think it's going to be, the, it's going to be game of the week. Um, mm-hmm. secondary to, I mean, uh, secondary, uh, behind that, it'll probably be Kansas City, Buffalo. City, Buffalo. Yeah. yeah that's going to yeah. be getting the most attention. So, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm glad they kept those separate for sure. Uh, yeah, the yeah. They, oh, that, they were smart not to put those on in the same block. No, no, absolutely. Same time. But I, yeah. but I like how they kept the champs. Like, yeah, no, champs get the, the, the better slot. Right, right. Make the Ravens I mean, battle it out with everybody else. Dallas <laughs> will be the upset Sid Bubba. Jesus. Sid who's Bubba. Playing, who, who's playing quarterback? Over. You or me? Or Trey, uh, Trey Young? <laughs> oh, what's his name? Trey, Trey freaking La- La- Trey Lance. There you go. Right, right, right. You, me, or Trey Lance going to be starting quarterback for the yes. Dallas Cowboys this weekend. So you, I, I think shocked. I'm late. I need to actually get there. I would be shocked. I I can't imagine seeing that one. Wow. No, absolutely. I can't. I can't see that. Absolutely. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, he just hates the Cowboys. Hey, that's fair. I don't hate <laughs> no team but Chicago. Right, right. Um, but you know that's because that that's my rival. <laughs> yeah, like but that's hate just different though. That's that's yeah. not re- right. That's not really hating though, right? Is it? Nah, nah, nah. nah not, that's just yeah. Rivalry. No, that's a rivalry. There, yeah, that's not yeah. actual. Well, no, nah, we can't even say that, can we? Because I think the Ohio State and Michigan people really and truly hate each other. Oh and no, I, I think they be fighting. Yeah, they definitely be fighting. At games. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those people. What is it? Ohio State won't even say Michigan. They say the school up north. They won't even mm-hmm. say it. That's the real. school up north in the M or something like. There's something yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. Something it's weird crazy. every single time. Mm. But yeah, where'd you go? G- 
No, I think he stepped off for a second. Oh, okay. But yeah, they are due for one. I mean, <laughs> one what? <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys say above it. They're just that, that's a awful, awful from top to like the owner's awful, the GM's awful. Well, he is the damn GM. The coach mm-hmm. is awful. The quarterback's awful. Now that quarterback is going. Your backup's awful. Your freaking your the run game's awful. Your defensive line is awful. Your mm-hmm. secondary's awful. Your your freaking your, your all pro rushing can't shut the hell up, and we're gonna get to that up. next. You know <laughs> I mean, he he's yeah, calling it's... Michael McCarthy his full freaking government oh, name. Goodness, like, come on, brother. Man, listen, That's your coach, guy. Coach McCarthy. That's his name. Uh, yeah, thank you, Coach McCarthy. Right. I don't, I don't never call, like all my coaches in high school, middle school. Yeah. I call them coach. Yeah, that's 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 weird to me, man. Coach. Yeah. I may have played for other teams. I may have you know went to the Navy, whatever, right. whatever. Right. Come Always back, coach. coach. <laughs> yeah. I come back. It's not no. Hey, Mister Johnson, how you doing? Hey, Mister mm-hmm. Alexander, how you doing? No, nah, it's coach. Coach. Coach Dennis, right. what's going on, bro? You all right? <laughs> hey, man, I'm going and, good, young fella. And it's it's crazy too because there are. Very few cases in which the player is older than the coach, so it's like you know, very, just very have few. respect, man. Get that respect. I mean, Absolutely. I get it if you're if you're LeBron and you know JJ Redick or you know, I mean, or pretty <laughs> much than all of them, coaches. right, right, right. You know, so okay, cool. You know, hey, hey, JJ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's, that's okay. Or um, what's my Sean McVay? I think he's like 36. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, hey, Sean, but like, 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 weird, like LeBron know? has earned that right, right? I've been. I'm a four-time champion, four, four or five-time MVP. Still, Mike yeah, Parsons, bro. That's true, you too. Ain't, you ain't got nothing. You haven't done anything yet. You haven't done nothing. Two-time All-Pro. Two-time All-Pro. That's cute. But, yeah, no, I, I get cute. your point, though. Like, he, has, he hasn't done enough to be able to. Because I, I I don't think he's registered a stack in the playoffs yet. Nah, not at all. So not that two-time all. All-Pro don't get you nowhere, bro. No, sir. No, sir. Mike McCarthy. Hey, Michael I mean, McCarthy has a Super Bowl. Definitely going to talk about that. Matter of fact, you know I mean. I mean yeah. So, uh, what's my yeah. Oh, where's G? Guess I can at least be on to the wife get back. <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm. I'm verifying it, but I do not believe he has a playoff sack either, which is freaking yeah, crazy. I don't think he has a playoff sack. Yeah. So, Granted, he's only been there twice, but not not still. the point though. You, he didn't, you, he didn't sack us last be, year. I know he he's supposed to be a game record right. like that, right? So yeah. what's going on? No, he's got one. He has one. Oh, he does have one. Yes, he has one in four. Uh, what four career playoff games? Yeah, it's one sack. Damn, that ain't that's gonna get it done, though. Worse. Yeah, that's not gonna get it done. <laughs> nah, that, that ain't it. You know, one sack in four playoff games is yo, crazy yo. work. Hmm. All right, well, the G mice is back, man. You guys be he easy. Is. I'm about right, to go brother. back and get some work done. Tend, tend to the kids and the wife. Make it happen. Make it happen. Go, pack, go, pack. You, bro. Absolutely, it as always, bro. I'll see you guys Saturday. All right, brother. Yep.